Troy Williams is the most athletic, I'd say, three man in the in the NCAA. Look out below. <sighs> Troy Williams, he's a nightmare matchup. Very explosive. Had the highest vertical leap on the team and anyone I've ever played with before. I know I can throw it anywhere. I can throw it blindfolded and I know he's going to catch it. Oh, they go up with a free pass and a terrific two-handed channel. Oh, he's a very great finisher around the rim. And that's one of the things I noticed when he first came in was just the way he attacked the rim. You know, his ability to finish dunks, finish layups, this finesse, something I've never seen before. An acrobatic shot goes up and in by Troy Williams, and he is fouled on the play. My main focus is to stick to the game plan and keep finding easy shots for me and my teammates as well. Getting the ball, pushing it, just making big plays in there. Those big plays bring energy to our team. Here's Troy Williams. He's able to finish. when he first came in last year. It was all one speed, his raw potential. He was down with a bad game or a bad shot. Troy would be Troy's own worst enemy. And it would be making a mistake or having a turnover or somebody not getting him the ball when he thought he should have it. And he had trouble with that. And he really had to mature through that. The wisdom that I got from all the past players are the players that were here before I was even here. They came over like, Victor Aladipo and Cody Zeller, they came during the summer and I learned things from them, I learned playing styles from them. I just see things differently on the court now. I think that he has really, really grown in so many areas of being able to not get frustrated, being able to get over it quickly, being able to channel real confidence instead of false bravado. And I think that's a big, big step in the path of any young person, but certainly it's been a huge thing for Troy. Hey, this is Bill Williams. How are you doing today? Is everything going okay? Detroit had a great second half. The first half started a little slow with them four turnovers, but the second half it was great. I mean, I love you can throw the term legend around too much, but you can't throw it around enough with Boo. I mean, that's what he is in, in the college and high school basketball circles. So to be able to recruit not only somebody that plays for Boo, but somebody that is a relative being his nephew, that was a big deal to us. My uncle was Boo Williams. My father left me when I was first born, actually. So I, that's who I always looked up to. That's who I was around. He yeah, introduced me to basketball. Just growing up with him, learning from him, learning all his wisdom and all. My uncle was greatly known around Virginia. What he did was just amazing for it. He, him bringing AE down to Hampton, Virginia, and gave a lot of kids like myself a chance to play. We started in 1982 with four teams. Now we got over 250 teams. We started out with 40 players. We got over 2,500 kids in our program. We had 18 kids to play in the NBA. We had Allen Iverson. I mean, Allen was a great player when he was young. We had Lonzo Mourning, J.J. Riddick play, J.R. Reed. We had some great players coming through our program. He went to uh, St. Joseph's. He's now known as the top five basketball players to go through there. In 1981, we had a great year. We played DePaul. Nobody gave us a chance to win that game. I mean, they had Mark Aguirre and Ray Myers as coach. They had a great team. Oh, they can go way, way up. The clip is controlled by St. Joseph. Brian Warwick shoots and scores. It's a one-point game. We, we, we knew how to control the tempo of the game. Oh, my. Look at this. St. Joseph has the ball back. Seven seconds. Look at this. Look at this. beat DePaul. Oh, it was like the end of the world. Then we did it, and then we beat Boston College, then we went to Indiana. Number five, Boo Williams. Not only we had to play Indiana, we had to play Indiana at Assembly Hall with Isaiah. I mean, you can't get no unfair in that. 861 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, Isaiah That day wasn't a very good day for us. St. Joseph's has not been able to get a handle on this one. They have not been able to take it. There was no upset in mind that day. I never saw so much red and white in my life. Indiana has defeated St. Joseph's. Last time I played basketball in college was at Assembly Hall. Losing to Indiana, I would never thought I'd have any of a family member go to Indiana. Every time he comes here, he looks up at the 81 banner, just like, yeah, I played against that team.
right now. This is about one team, this is about every other team that's played against them. This is bigger than just us. So we're not playing for just this 2014, 2015 Maryland team. This is going back a long way. All right? Indiana comes to College Park for the second meeting of the year and a chance for Maryland to avenge that earlier season loss. One of the things that we've learned in our first go-round in this league is the value of the home court is amazing. Tremble pass to Demonte Dodd screen. The step back by Tremble. Oh, I'm sure the guy's got a feet off his crowd. Absolutely. He's crazy in here. Maryland down inside to Troy on an alley-oop slam dunk. Wow, I bet you think you're real cool. I can dunk it. I'm a Division I athlete. Yeah. Troy fakes, drives to the baseline inside, puts it up on a reverse, and scores the basket. Troy Williams has been spectacular. Yogi takes it to the right side, pulls up, lets fly a long bomb, and hit it! That was unbelievable. Wells comes the other way, and he hits a three. Yogi fakes. It was it back to Troy down inside and tried to slam it and it goes out of bounds. Ah, ah, you suck. Coach Green wasn't even unhappy about it because it was a really acrobatic move. I think both coaches are realizing how fast paced this game is. A game of runs for both teams in this one. We've got a one-point game at halftime here. Really good first half of basketball. Yogi now tries to go back to the right. Can't penetrate. Now does. Down low. And he knows how to play. That dude is nasty. Robert now with five on the shot clock. Penetrates. Pulls up. Fade away shot. Troy Williams slams it back in. And it could have been a goal 10, but Troy Williams gets away with it. That's a goal 10! Sir, are you crazy? Indiana by one. 48-47. Parker track this outside for Melo Trimble. Yogi will lob it inside, and a one-hand slam alley-oop attempt by Troy Williams doesn't go down. That would have been spectacular. Wells will oh, drive ooh. off the glass, and the Tampa's lead it by six. Roberts three on the way. Good! And Robert Johnson hits his second three of the ball game. Yogi puts up a three off. Oh, and banks it in! And Indiana has tied this thing at 59 all. Nobody leaving this building with two and a half to go in this game. Tries to back him down. Turns, puts it up, got it. This has been a wild affair. Just see if I can go back and forth. Puts up a shot. Oh, and Troy Williams with a sensational tip in. 67 63, 19.2 to go. Colin Harmon inbounds to Yogi, drives it down the floor, fires up a three. Oh, he hit it! No! 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 And Indiana is still in it. 68-66, 12.5 to go. Yogi with 10 of the shot clock, down to nine, down to eight, brings it across the timeline. Let's go on three. Oh, it's off the rim. No, oh, knocked away. Picked up by Yogi, puts it back up, missed it again, and that's the ball game. What a great finish for the Terrors. A heck of a performance. Head coach Tom Crean sprinting across the floor to grab his point guard and Yogi Ferrell with a big hug, trying to console him after missing what could have been a shot that would have tied the game. Sixty-eight, sixty-six. About to see my terrible signature.
playing it. We did, guys, what do we do? We win close games. That's a great win. And let me tell you something about you guys. You're resilient. You're resilient. Bottom line, you can talk about, oh, we've lost three in a row on the road or whatever. But we're resilient. In the end, we're 20 and 5, and we're tied for second in the league. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear you. Raise the roof. When you fall down, get back up. When you fall down, get back up. When you fall down, get back up. Come on. Come on. <laughs>